Welcome to Gene Clips. My name is Alana, and I'm a genetic counselor at Children's National Hospital. Today, I'll be talking about joint hypermobility. Joint hypermobility means that a person's joints have a greater range of motion than expected, and is sometimes referred to as loose joints or being double jointed. Generalized joint hypermobility is defined as hypermobility affecting multiple joints. One way to assess hypermobility is through a scoring system called the Byton score. This score checks hypermobility on fingers, elbows, knees, and hips, and can be performed by any healthcare provider. Most babies and children are naturally flexible and become less flexible as they grow. However, hypermobility continues into adulthood for some people. Hypermobility is most common in adolescent females. This is usually not a problem, and for some, like dancers or gymnasts, it can be an advantage. Problems can occur when joints are not just hypermobile, but are also unstable and causing discomfort. If you are experiencing discomfort or pain from hypermobility, you should be evaluated by a physical therapist who will recommend low impact activities. Joint instability occurs when the bones of a joint aren't held in place securely. This is sometimes due to a connective tissue disorder. Connective tissue is a term given to several body tissues that connect, support, and help bind other tissues. These connective tissues are important for joint stability. A connective tissue disorder can lead to multiple joint subluxations, dislocations, sprains, and other injuries causing both acute and chronic pain and can interfere with the quality of a person's life. Some connective tissue disorders can be life-threatening, mainly due to problems affecting the connective tissue of arteries and other organs causing rupture, but these are very rare. An evaluation with a cardiologist is necessary and recommended to detect these conditions. One common cause of joint hypermobility is a connective tissue disorder called hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or EDS type 3. A person with hypermobile EDS can have a positive family history of joint hypermobility, but this condition currently does not have a known genetic cause or cure. It can be associated with other unspecific heart problems. There is a diagnostic checklist that not only involves heart imaging, but a good physical exam and requires evaluation by a healthcare provider to make a clinical diagnosis. Your genetics provider can answer any questions you have about connective tissue disorders, including hypermobile EDS. Thank you for watching Gene Clips.